Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Beanie 101 and I'm here to bring you a very quick tip about how I make my pucks in Ultimate Team on NHL 13. You can see that I'm just inputting uh, a search for NHL players that have a starting price of less than 500 pucks. Um, and then I'm just scrolling through all of these players here and I'm putting bids on 84 and 85 rated players uh, pretty much. Um, for 85 rated players, I usually won't bid more than 500 pucks maximum. For 84 rated players, I try to get them for um, maximum of 300, 350, unless there's a few players on there that uh, I know uh, sell particularly well. There, there are a couple of 84 rated players. I'm thinking uh, players like Patrick Kane, who will obviously go for more than 500. Um, D-men seem to do particularly well, 84 rated D-men that, that have got a, a little bit of a, an offensive nature to them or have got a, a, a bit of checking um, to, to their game. And goalies, 84, 85 rated goalies uh, probably go for, for much more than 300 or 500 pucks. So if you see any goalies on there, then get involved. Pace is always king, so you can see that I've put a bid on for Grabner there. I probably won't get him for 350 pucks. Um, so I might bid a little bit more for players like that. Um, but I just keep on scrolling through. The reason why I do this is uh, because um, EA sales tax, I think uh, they take, uh, you only get 95% of what you sell a player on for. So if I sell a player for a thousand pucks, I'm only going to get 950 for, for him. And because the increments that you can sell players at are increments of 50, uh, I figure that if I start selling players for under a thousand pucks, um, all I've got to do is tick them up once uh, to 50 more than I bought them for and um, I'm guaranteed profit. So this is kind of what I'm doing. Uh, Bear with me; it's uh, it's not quite as, uh, as as straightforward as that. There there are a few little tricks that I employ uh, to to squeak out uh, some some extra pucks. Uh, but uh, you can see me scrolling through here, and again, just putting in uh, pretty low bids, um, making sure that uh, they uh, then appear on my watch list. Uh, there's a few players that I avoid as well. Um, that I just know don't don't sell well. You you probably get a feel for who those players are. Um, after a while, you can see I put a bit bit on for Tyler Seguin there. He obviously goes for more than 400 pucks. Um, so once they're on my watch list, oh, uh, you can see I've won a handful of them already. Uh, a couple of that I lost there, um, but um, I'll go through and uh, just keep a keep an eye on what the the, the bids are for uh, on for these players. And uh, you can see I've just uh, topped. Uh, Chris Stewart up to 300 pucks. I probably won't touch him again. If if he goes for more than that, I'm happy to lose him. Um, and uh, yeah, this is this is what I do uh, when I log on to NHL. Um, I will uh, come into Ultimate Team. I'll I'll do exactly what you're seeing here. Put a few bids on for players. Pop into my watch list after a while, and then just uh, just top up uh, a few players that I've lost that I think I can still get for a good price. Um, and and that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, on on the the bidding side of things. Um, Tyler Seguin, uh, I, um, what what I'll actually tell you is that I do actually win Tyler Seguin here for for 600 pucks, which is an absolute steal. Um, so so here's my trade pile. Um, uh, ignore for the time being the fact that uh, I've got a load of contracts on here. Um, I was trying some things out with bronze packs, buying bronze packs, and then selling all the contracts because bronze packs these days are pretty cheap. Um, and you can see uh, I'm now adding um, 84 players. Uh, 84 rated players I, I usually stick on for a starting price of maybe 400, 450 um, and I always add a buy it now um, so uh, you can see for Hedman I, I added a buy it now of 700 that's more than double what I bought him for uh, and, and I found that for, for these lower price players um, people are willing to pay another two, 300 bucks for them to get them straight away um, I find that that's not necessarily always the case for some of the higher rated players and, and uh, people are more aware when they're spending more pucks of what the true value of these players are. But if you've got 84, 85 rated players and they're all under, you know, you're essentially selling them for, for under a thousand pucks. I'm doubling my money because I'm buying them for no more than 300, 350 and then potentially selling them for 650, 700, 750. So I'm doubling my money on pretty much every single card. You can see I put Tyler Seguin up. Um, there for a bite now 400 4000 pucks um and uh, this is me a day later coming in and uh, seeing what's sold um and you can see pretty much everything yeah, Seguin went for his bite now no surprise 
Headman, 700 pucks. Headman, uh, another 700. Some of my contracts sold. But uh, you, you get the idea. You know, if, if you set a limit of 300, 350 pucks for, for 84 rated players, you, you can sell them for, for buy it now f uh, for, for, uh, for a starting price of 400 or 450. And, and some of them will go. Um, and you've made a couple of hundred pucks. Um, but if you uh, put them on an auction duration for a few hours or a day or so, then someone somewhere is going to find that 650, 700 pucks too low a price to ignore, and they'll snap them up, buy it now rather than play the market, um, and you've doubled your money. Um, so um, that's my tip for um, playing the hut market. Um, you do need to uh, make sure that you churn through a lot of cards, but it's really, really low risk. Um, you're, you're never going to be stuck with a player that uh, you, you can't get rid of. You're, you're always, you know, and, and even if you lose, you're, you're only going to lose maybe 100, 150 pucks on uh, on a particular player. So, you know, all you got to do is sell another one for a buy it now price and, and you're back into profit again. So you can see my pucks here are about 52,000. Um, I got this up from zero in about uh, a few days uh, just using these tactics. So, uh, you know, in theory, there's no reason why you can't do the same. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel uh, if you want uh, some more NHL footage. Um, and, uh, you know, it's the best way of keeping up to date with everything that I do. Otherwise, I shall see you next time and thanks for watching.